going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we are back with this. Alright guys, so hopefully you all saw that last video that I put out of taking the Hennessy out for a run. And it was not, <laughs> it didn't go exactly per plan as the way I was expecting it to go. You can hear this thing. But, I mean, it moved. Uh, we, I made it, I think, to like 20 something miles an hour. And so that wasn't bad. I mean, we're going up in the right direction. But now, if you guys had ended up hearing the gearing on that thing, a lot of you that heard it, I already know that you were all saying the mesh is wrong, it's not right, and you're right. The mesh was completely, completely wrong. Um, I had put, I don't know how I did that, but I put a 32 pitch gear in there, 15 tooth, 30, 32 pitch, 15 tooth gear in there, and it was a completely wrong pitch. And uh, that, it was bad. <laughs> if you guys could hear it in the uh, in the video, I'll... here you go. So yeah, that that was bad. Uh, but what I did end up doing, so with that calculator that I found online for the gear pitch and everything. I did my calculations and everything and lo and behold, I found the gear. So this gear is the correct pitch for this. So you guys won't believe it, but I ended up finding this gear is a WL Toys gear. I believe I got it from Amazon, or I might have gotten it directly from WL Toys. I don't remember, but I, I, whatever, I don't care. I found the gear. So the gearing is the exact same pitch as the stock gear that came, the stock pinion gear that came out of this guy. And now when I clunk these two together, like so, you can hear a complete, complete difference. And you can actually see, sorry about the lighting. I'm doing stuff in my office that I have to move stuff around. So a lot of my stuff is put away. Completely different table. So anyway, here you go. Hopefully you guys can see that it's turning there. It's kind of hard to tell, but It was definitely not making that type of, that sound last time. It was a lot, and I mean a lot worse. Again, here you go. So yeah, that was a lot worse than what we are hearing now. So, now that I got the gearing in here, I am going to put this rear end back into the Hennessy, take it outside, and see what it's gonna do. How well is it gonna do? I, I don't know, I'm not sure. But we are going to find out. Um, I'm hoping that this gear in here I, might, I think I'm gonna have to grease this up a little bit more, but I'm hoping that that gear right in here is not really, really chewed up. Um, it doesn't seem like it is. Here you guys, take a look here. So that gear does not seem like it's really chewed up. This one right here. So it doesn't seem like it's really chewed up from the 32 pitch gear, but once this guy 
gets going, we will see. I mean, the gear is moving. The gear is moving. Now I'm really curious. Now I'm really curious to see how fast this thing is gonna go. So, what I'm gonna do, put this together, we're gonna take it outside, and we will see how fast this guy's gonna go. So let's go. All right guys, so here we are, we're outside, and I just gotta say, I had this thing running inside the house, just all right on that desk table thing that I have temporarily right now. And I gotta say, wow. <laughs> I, wow. Um, yeah, let, let's, here you go. Here you go. So here she is. Now, one thing I gotta do, again, I'm running this on a 2S, lipo battery have the switch right there i have the battery cover right here so we are going to test this guy out over there on the street let me put this on we'll take it out sounded completely different than it did last time as you can hear because now I finally got oh, the cameras over there I'm looking over here the cameras over there so I finally got the correct gearing in there so uh, now I'm just waiting for the GPS to click on and we'll take this guy for a run all right so I can't get the GPS to turn on I didn't charge it so let's just uh, run it up and down my street and see what this thing does As soon as I go full throttle on it, it just automatically spins out. Car's coming.
can't full throttle it. Hopefully you guys were able to see how bouncy this thing is. I mean, there is absolutely no, none. Excuse me, bird. <laughs> so there is absolutely no type of suspension on this thing, none. This is why I need to find a nice smooth spot where it's gonna go. This thing will move. I just gotta find a nice spot, that nice solid flat area where this thing can go. All right, so that was a successful run with this thing. Um, did a couple donuts with it and everything. Uh, it definitely needs some tires because these tires, garbage. Absolute, that's what I'm looking at right now, the tires. The thing with these tires is that they are too hard of a compound. They are not soft enough. Um, I think I just wore out that battery because just doing the donuts over there, this thing, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. I, I am happy with the way that it turned out. I was kind of not expecting it to turn out the way that it did. <laughs> I want to thank WL Toys for actually having that pitch gear that I needed to be able to get this thing running. Uh, Cause I was literally, like I said in the last video, I was, there we go. I was literally racking my brain trying to figure out where I'm gonna find a gear. And yeah, I think the battery's dying. Um, I was trying to wreck my brain trying to figure out where I was going to find a gear and uh, yeah so let's take this thing aside and we'll see what the temperature feels like on it. Alright guys so we are back in the office, turn this thing off, now I'm going to take the screws, I only put four screws, again this thing takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve screws to hold this body onto this chassis only put four. Taking the body off of it to see how hot this motor got. All right, body is off. Again, this is a Surpass Hobby, Surpass Hobby, uh, 5900 KV motor, brushless ESC. Ooh, that's toasty. Ooh, ooh, that is hot. So the other issue, and now, and I know why it got so dang hot. The ESC is, well, here we go, guys. So the ESC is warm, but that motor, whoo, that motor is toasty. So I'm going to disconnect the battery. Disconnect the battery, and I'm going to take the rear end off. All right, guys, so here it is. Here is the gear, and this is actually a, I'll start right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this is a 17 tooth, this is a 17 tooth pinion gear that I found. Again, WL Hobbies. WL Toys, so glad. Um, Surpass Hobby, 5900 KV brushless motor. Now let's take a look at the gearing. So again, this is all plastic gears that are in here. And I must say that the gear, what the heck is all that crap around it? Anyway. But I gotta say, that gear does not look bad at all. I thought it was gonna be more chewed up than what it is. But as you guys can see there, it looks like there's that bit of a tooth right there that's kind of uh, 
broken. Another one right there, right here. Another one right there. Uh, looks like there's a couple teeth that uh, have the tips of them worn out. All right, so there we have it. New pinion gear in this thing. Unfortunately, what sucks is that I did not have my GPS charged. But it's all right. I just basically wanted to see how this thing was gonna do with the new gearing that I ended up getting. 17 tooth gear. Uh, I believe the stock gear was a 14 and this one is a 17. So with the 17 tooth, I think we're gonna end up getting a little more speed than what we would have gotten with the 14 tooth anyway. So what's gonna happen next? I don't know, I'm not sure. But I do want to hit those 80 miles an hour with this thing. The only thing, as you guys saw in the video, the only thing is that I just need a nice smooth area. There is no suspension in this thing. You guys saw this thing just jumped all over the place. So I am going to need to get a nice smooth area to run this thing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. The swap me that's coming up. for the Tiny Adventures RC Swap Meet. If you guys are in the Pennsylvania area, go check them out at the Swap Meet or just go to the store itself. I mean, they are some great people there. They do have a, I'll try to put up some pictures right here. They do have a crawling area, they have a drifting area, and of course outside in the back, they do have a spot where you can do some speed runs. So if you guys haven't yet and you're in the Pennsylvania area, go check them out, Tiny Adventures RCs, awesome people. I will be there May 20th or the 21st for their swap meet. So come out, say hi. I believe I have some stickers that I might end up handing out to the first couple people. Um, so you see me there, come around, say hi, and you got a sticker. <laughs> so far, that's all I got. Uh, just some stickers. So, but anyway, you guys know what to do. If you haven't yet, smash that like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can get notifications when. We come out with a new video or I come out with a new video and you guys won't miss anything. So that's all I got for you guys in this video and you guys keep our seeing. You all have a good one.